You know me, SDMT. Let's get it, baby, man. Let's get it. But first, make sure you hit that like, subscribe, and turn my notifications, man, and join the gang. You already know I'm bringing that fire every day. Stay locked into the No Cap Straight Facts podcast with SDMT. Now, let's get to it, man. This is bogus as hell, goofy as hell, man. It's now official, man. Shakari Richardson is out of the 100 meters at the Olympics, man, because she tested for some weed, man. This is crazy right here, man. Over some weed, man. It is a rule. I know certain people love to act like it's all about rules. And you know what I mean? That is true. It is a rule. And she, you know, said that she knew what the rule was as part of her decisions. But at the end of the day, you know what I mean? If we care about rules, we got to care about them all the time, especially at the Capitol and wherever else. So if you care about rules, you need to always care about rules. You know what I mean? But let's get to it. In a recent interview, you know what I mean? She pretty much said that, you know, she knew the rules and she still made her decision. So she understands the consequences of her actions and she apologized, okay? So she also went into her reasoning. She had the death of her mother and she had a lot of emotions she was trying to cope with while training. So she leaned on weed. A lot of people use weed for anxiety, emotions, a lot of these things. I don't personally smoke. Um, I deal with things different ways, whether I work out or I get away from people or I blog or whatever I do, but I don't judge people that do things differently from me. So she was going through a major loss in her family. She's only 21 years old, so, so she resorted to smoking weed, okay? So she understands. She apologized for her actions, and she understands. She may have the opportunity to still race in the relay, um, but that's still being, you know, discussed at the moment. But we really look at this. We've got to look at the, you know, weed and, uh, you know what I mean? A lot of sports leagues like the NBA aren't even testing for any anymore. UFC's being a little bit a lot more lenient with fighters as well. Um, you know, a lot of NFL players were mad about this, man. A lot of NFL players spoke up and they tweeted their point of view. You know what I mean? We had OBJ came come out and say, this is BS, to be honest. And I agree with OBJ. We had Ricky Williams come out and say this is 2021 and people are still being suspended over weed, which is crazy, man. It's 2021. It's legal in a lot of places. We know it doesn't have any performance benefits and a lot of people use it for medicinal reasons. So we also have Patrick Mahomes, man, the face of the NFL, said this is trash. They should let her run. And I definitely agree. We look at this, she did not, you know, use anything for enhancements. It was just to cope with her emotional well-being with a, with a family member lost. She apologized, and it's sad that a lot of people are taking this opportunity to bash this young woman. She's only 21 years old, and she's been going through a major loss. A lot of you guys judging her have done a lot worse. So think about that before you really judge this young woman who apologized for her actions, and she's accepting the consequences of her actions. She's not you know, fighting to say she should run. She just says, you know, she made the decision she made trying to cope with the loss of her mother, which is huge, you know what I mean? A lot of people, you know what I mean, that's a major, you know, loss in their lives and they don't know how to deal with it. So for her, you know what I mean, her and her mom's relationship, I'm pretty sure it's pretty close and she definitely, you know, had to, you know, resort to whatever she had to do to get over her emotional, you know, trauma that she was going through, okay? Now, we got to look at it like this as well. You know what I mean? She um, she apologized for it. You know what I mean? And, uh, you know, we look at weed, um, you know, you know, Miles Garrett said, you know, in the, at the next Olympics, this may not be an issue, which is a real topic, which is a real discussion. At the next Olympics, will weed be, you know, something that's okay? And then how will this look four years later? You know what I mean? We... You know, I know they have to have certain drugs they ban and they do have rules, but hopefully in the future, um, her case, Shikari Richardson's case can be, you know, uh, you know, put to the forefront of why this rule needs to be changed. You know what I mean? We look at her, you know, she's only 21 years old. She'll have another chance. She's 25. I'm pretty sure she'll keep training and get faster to, you know, 
succeed in the Olympics. She's definitely competitive and she definitely could win a gold medal. So, you know, she's young, 21 years old, made a made a mistake going through a major, you know, situation in her life. She still has an opportunity to go to the Olympics four years from now, maybe another four years from then. So, you know, she's a young star that's still shining bright and she should definitely take advantage of this opportunity, hopefully get a, a marijuana sponsorship or CBD, you know what I mean? She needs to be the face of that movement. And, uh, you know, people need to reach out and use her and, and, and market her as the face of that because a lot of people do use marijuana for medicinal anxiety, depression, and a lot of things in, in, in this world. It's, it's, it's very, it's not new. You know what I mean? We look at something like alcohol, which America benefits off so much, it's not illegal, but it has, you know, so many negative effects that leads to, you know, car crash and DUIs, um, liver, kidneys, you know, alcohol poisoning people dying so it definitely has its uh setbacks as well but it's legal and they don't test for it in these uh you know athletic events but when we look at it man shikari richardson she's a young woman she's only 21 years old she has her whole life ahead of her she was going through a tough time in her life and she made decisions that she owned up for and she's been accountable and she apologized for what she did but she also said she did it and she knew the rules but she was just dealing and trying to cope with those emotions. So, you know, she'll have another chance in 2025. And, you know, she may also have a chance um, to run in that relay, just which is still being discussed. But at the end of the day, I was really looking forward to seeing her, you know what I mean, race and get that gold medal. And, you know, she definitely is a young star. She has her own little style, her own little swag. And this is definitely that she shouldn't take too much of a setback and just take this situation she's a trending topic to you know use to market herself and you know get more business opportunities for herself and her family as well but all those people hating on her bashing her using this as an opportunity to try to you know put a black person down listen to the rules you know y'all better listen to the rules too <laughs> you know what i mean but um let me know what you guys think in the comments, man. This is crazy, man. I wish she could run, but they do have rules for a reason. I do understand that, but just because there are rules doesn't mean you always agree with those rules at the same time. And then what happens over time is these rules do change. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on my notifications. And that's a wrap on SDMT.